This morning, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is sounding the alarm about a potential rail strike which threatens the holiday shopping season. He spoke with News Nation last night about a tentative agreement that was rejected by four unions and now a cooling off period which temporarily prevents a work stoppage is set to expire in two weeks. Our Joe Khalil is live in Washington with the latest on that story. Good morning, Joe. Hey, good morning, Mitch. So it is a very real possibility that our rail workers nationwide could go on strike. And it's hard to describe just how detrimental that would be to the economy as a whole. Just about every industry in some way or another is impacted by rail. And certainly it would be worse than the height of the pandemic when we had all these supply chain issues keeping things off of store shelves. So just to give you an idea of what's at stake here, we will go industry by industry and just touch on a few. And let's start with the food industry here because we're talking about a lot of the basics, uh, things like barley, flour, corn, uh, down to animal foods and even frozen foods that could be off of store shelves. Let's go building materials now, things like cement, lumber, drywall, steel, transport of all of these things could be stopped. It would also impact chemicals, things like chlorine that are used for clean drinking water, uh, consumer goods like TVs and clothes, things that might be on your Christmas list, and the auto industry may come to a halt as well. The Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg did sit down with our Leland Vittert and talked about what could be at stake here if there's a potential strike. Here's what he said. We're urging the parties to get to the table and to do whatever it takes to prevent a shutdown. Uh, a shutdown is a scenario that is not acceptable. I mean, can the American economy deal with it if it happens? It would not be good. So if you're wondering, didn't we just go through this back in September? You're right. There was a potential strike happening. Uh, rail workers and the companies sat down with the White House. The White House helped broker a deal. The problem was that that deal had to be accepted and voted on by all of the 12 major rail unions around the country. And just a couple days ago, four of those unions ended up rejecting that deal. Now, that would have given workers 24% raises and $5,000 bonuses, but some unions are now holding out for more paid sick time as well. And those strikes could begin if there's no deal set now sometime around December 5th. Mitch. Okay, Joe, thanks for that. We'll see you a little bit later in the show. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.